let's evaluate the limit as x approaches 0 of the function the tangent of x minus x all over x cubed. Now in your earliest study of limits you may have found limits by substituting values of x that get closer and closer to the 0 here in order to find the limit and this is the approach that we're going to use. So I'm going to construct myself a table I'll have a column of x values. Let's call this function h of x. h of x is equal to the tangent of x minus x divided by x cubed. And I'm going to choose values of x that uh, get closer and closer to 0. So let's choose 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.05, 0 0.01, 0 0.005. Let's see how we go with these numbers first. So when I plug the number 1 into the calculator for the function h of x, I get 0 0.5574 to the first four decimal places. See if you can verify all of these values as you go along as well. With x equals 0 0.5, I get 0 0.3704. With x equals 0 0.1, I get 0 0.3347. With x equals 0 0.05, I get 0 0.3336. With x equals 0 0.01, I get 0 0.3333. And with 0 0.005, I also get 0 0.3333 to the first four decimal places. So we might guess that the limit as x approaches 0 of tan x minus x divided by x cubed is equal to 1 third, because 0 0.3333 is 1 third as a fraction. But is this really what the answer is. Alright, so this is our guess. Let's have a look at the graph of tan of x minus x divided by x cubed. Okay, so this is a graph that I have generated with Desmos graphing calculator. This is a great tool that you can access online at uh, this address and you can uh, program any function and visualize it. So with our function, as you can see, approaching x equals 0 from both sides the graph tells me that uh, we do indeed look like we have the limit being equal to one third. However, I'm still very skeptical, so I'm going to keep trying smaller values of x. Let's try x equals 0 0.001, 0 0.0001. Heck, let's go as close to zero as we like. Let's choose 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So 1 by 10 to the negative 6. And let's go to the extreme. Let's go to 1 by 10 to the negative 8. So there would be 0 0.0000001. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, so for 0, 0, 001, we still get 0 0.3333. For 0, 0, 0, 0.0001, still get 0.3333. So it's looking fairly conclusive. For 1 by 10 to the negative 6, it's still equal to 0.3333. Now what about the final one? Well, when I plug this value in, I actually get 0. So we're getting very close to 0 indeed, and we get the answer of 0. So what is the answer? Is it 1 third? Or is it 0? Is the limit 0? And if you don't believe me, let's have a look at what we get on another Desmos utility, Desmos Scientific Calculator. Okay, so this is Desmos Scientific Calculator. And when you do these calculations, remember to set your calculator to radians mode. And here I have 1 by 10 to the negative 6. And indeed, we get 0.3333 to four decimal places. 
and here I have 0. Point, well sorry 1 by 10 to the negative 8 and the calculator has given me 0 as a whole number. So now I'm confused because the graph tells me it's one third visually. All the other answers leading up to this very close value to zero is also one third. Well, let's have a look at the graph again and zoom in very close to zero and see what happens. Okay, so let's start zooming in as close as we like, as close as possible to x equals zero. And look what happens here. It appears the graph takes a spike down. Let's keep zooming in. And as we keep on getting closer and closer, we see something quite funky indeed. What is going on here? Well, it turns out this is a problem with the calculator's precision as we get closer and closer to zero. The calculator is actually giving us a false value. The limit as x approaches zero of the tan of x minus x over one third is indeed equal to one third as we approach zero and I'll prove this result to you in a future video because in order to prove this result we first have to learn L'Hopital's rule and we have to familiarize ourselves with the limit laws. So the moral of this video is we need to be careful when evaluating limits with calculators because they can give false values when we get close to the value of x that we're trying to find the limit at. But for now, let's box this result. The limit of tan of x minus x over x cubed is equal to one third. And we will revisit this in another video. But that will do it for this video now. If it has helped you, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with all your study mates, make my channel famous. Got any questions? Use the comment section below. I'll do my best to try and help you. If you're feeling generous, there's a PayPal link in the description. I'd appreciate any small donation. Until next time, best of luck with your math studies, and I'll see you on the next video.